I suppose the opposite of scientific realism is scientific anti-realism. That's kind of trivial. But is scientific instrumentalism, If I, I'm not even sure if that's a, a term of art, but is taking an instrumental attitude to the non-observables also one way of being a scientific anti-realist? Um, sure. just might be a yes-no I mean, no if somebody question. says to me, if somebody says to me, look, really all I care about is making good predictions. And I, I, I can't, I'm sorry, I've been on a lot of podcasts. I mentioned, maybe I mentioned this to you. You go back, you know, Copernicus wrote this book, De Revolutionibus, arguing for, against the geocentric theory and for the heliocentric theory. And they knew he was going to get in trouble for it. And so there was this preface that was actually written by Osiander, but you wouldn't know it because they stuck it on um, to try and keep him out of trouble and, and basically said, look, um, don't take this idea that the earth goes around the sun and the earth spins on its axis. Just don't take that literally. No, 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 no. That's not the idea at all. Just if you pretended, it's like fictionalism. If you pretended that this was going on, that would make pretty good predictions about where the star, where the planets will be and, you know, when the eclipses will be and yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. That's an instrumentalist view. The instrumentalist says, I have no concern. I just don't care what's really going on. I don't care whether the earth is spinning or not. I just want something that will let make me, you know, will give me accurate predictions about if I where to point my telescope to see Mars in 10 days. And if it does that, that's all I ever wanted. There could be people like that. I mean, you, you can't, you know, will them out of existence. Um, you, you could take that attitude. To me, it's entirely uninteresting, right? That's not my attitude towards science. I, I don't, you know, I don't particularly care you know, you know, about making predictions, except insofar as I think of the, the failing, the holding or failing of those predictions as providing me evidence for what I'm really interested in, which is the underlying theory, right? But if someone were to say, I don't care, I don't care whether what's spinning, what's not spinning, I don't care whether they're really epicycles, I just don't care. I just want a little thing that'll, a little gadget that'll tell me where the moon's going to be. Okay, you can have that attitude. I, I have nothing much, you know, we're not going to have an interesting conversation because, <laughs> you know, what you're doing bears pretty much no connection to what I'm doing. I don't, you know. Okay. But yeah, Perfect. I take it such a person, it, this cartoon instrumentalist, I would say, is not a scientific realist because if, if you ever ask them, it sounds like if you ever ask them, do you believe any of these theories? They'd say, no, of course not. Of course I don't believe them. I wasn't. I wasn't in the game of trying to decide whether to believe them. I don't care whether they're true. Okay.